Hello! This video tutorial shows you how to modify the default layouts in WISE. Currently, WISE ships with eight different layouts. You can switch between these layouts by clicking the Layouts option in the menu bar or by using one of the shortcut keys, F5 through F12. If we look closely at the layouts, you will notice that each one consists of a series of views. The views within each layout have been arranged together in a certain way to help you perform specific tasks or jobs. The first thing you can do to modify a layout is to resize the views. Simply position the mouse cursor over the splitter bar between two views and then drag the bar to resize them. Although the default layouts in WISE have been optimized to make the workflow as efficient as possible, there may be cases when you want to add or remove a view from a layout. Let's say you are working on the attenuation settings for a number of objects in your project. You want to remove the contents editor from the designer layout and replace it with the attenuation editor. Removing views from a layout is very easy. You simply have to click the close icon in the title bar of the view. By default, WISE asks you to confirm the removal of a view from a layout. If you don't want this message box to be displayed, simply clear the Warn when modifying docked layout option in the layouts menu. So, now that the contents editor has been removed from the layout, we can add the attenuation editor. First off, we have to open the Attenuation Editor view. To do so, click the Views option in the menu bar and select Attenuation Editor. The Attenuation Editor opens as a floating view. To dock the view into our layout, click on the title bar of the view and then drag the view. As soon as you start dragging the view, you enter Edit Layout Mode. If we drag the view around, you can see that the different sections of the layout will be highlighted in green. These green sections represent the areas where the view can be docked into the layout. You can dock a view by splitting one of the existing views horizontally by adding it to the top or bottom, or vertically by adding the view to the left or right of the docked view. You can also dock a floating view across the entire layout. For example, you can add the view across the top, bottom, left, or right of the layout. Let's add the attenuation editor across the bottom of our layout. You can adjust the size of each view within the layout to make it exactly the way you want it. Let's say we weren't happy with the attenuation editor across the bottom. We can simply undock the view from the layout by clicking the view's title bar and dragging it out of the layout. When you release the mouse button, the view becomes floating again. This time, let's add the attenuation editor to the top of the transport control view. This makes more sense for what we are trying to accomplish. We can resize the views again to get it just the way we like it. After we have finished tweaking the attenuation values for the objects in our project, we can return to the default layout again by selecting the Reset Factory Layouts option from the Layouts menu. Since we only modified the designer layout, we can select this option and then click OK. WISE returns to the default designer layout. That's it! You now know how to modify the layouts in WISE. For further information about layouts, refer to the Working with Layouts section of the Help.